So in this session, we will be having a knowledge on creating multiple digital sensors with Arduino. So first part, we will be seeing completely regarding to us measuring the temperature and humidity using DHT11. The second part is calculating the number of steps using LM393. The purpose of DHT11 is to collect the temperature as well as the humidity value which is present in the surroundings. So for this particular DHT11, we are having three particular pins which has to be interfaced towards the controller. Those pins are VCC, data and ground. So from this particular uh, VCC ground as well as the data pins here it will be separated and most of them will be confused like we are having the four pins and within this four pins how to be integrated over there. So in this four pins also we are having only three pins as accessible. So this comes under the positive data and this is not connected and this pin as the ground. So therefore here S stands for the data then voltage and therefore the ground. So ground connected to the ground of the Arduino. So here it has been interfaced and therefore VCC has been connected to the 5 voltage and therefore the data pin has been connected to the 6th pin of the Arduino. Now these pins are interfaced with that particular Arduino Uno. Now we have to go for the programming part. So inside this programming part we are having that particular dhc.h. So this particular file it is universally available with uh, any of the search engines. But here I will be showing you how to add and we will be providing that particular file into the LMS also. So go to sketch, include library, manage library. The particular window will be opened now. So within that we have to add any of the zip file. So here inside the sketch below the manage library we are having an option add zip library. We have to select the required file. So my file is there in downloads and the required section is dht lib. Now click on open. It will be added towards this particular Arduino IDE. So now here I am not clicking because already I have added. If I add once again means it won't be overlapped. Once again it will be appending inside the library files. So now click on file. Go to sketch include library and inside that we can get the required one dhc lib so now we are calling our header file dhc.h and we are defining the type dhc type dhc11 then define dhc pin so here we have connected towards the sixth pin of arduino you know and therefore we have given it and this dhc is indicating orange since we have called the respective file and this is the keyword and this keyword hereafter it will be represented as small dht and within bracket now we are calling our pin as well as the type therefore our dht pin has been enabled now inside this void setup we have to provide the dht.begin so therefore this particular function will be enabled then serial.begin to enable the serial monitor and the baud rate is 9600 Therefore serial.println just to print the title of this entire function and the delay will be applied to print each and every time. Now to print the continuous data inside the void loop here we are reading dhc.readhumidity. This will be the function which is present inside that particular file. So therefore this is read humidity. Then dhc.read temperature to read the temperature value to print this particular humidity serial.print current humidity equal to h we are calling this file and here this file has been enabled with uh, data type of float for both temperature as well as humidity to get decimal values so this variable only here we are calling for serial.print and this particular extension will be in modulus as the humidity will be there in percentage then again serial.print temperature t will be the variable extension will be c to see that particular data clearly i have provided delay of 1000 so that the speed will be reduced now upload the code towards our arduino so before uploading the code we have to check for our port number and the port number is connected to com8 and the board is arduino uno 
now the particular code has been uploaded therefore now we have opened the serial monitor and this will be that particular heading initially which we have seen and this is for our current humidity and temperature now let us take an led for monitoring both uh, humidity and temperature as indication and let us connect the wires to it so now the wires has been connected now we have to change the program so hereby i am going to declare some more pins two pins should be declared pin mode within bracket so i am selecting the digital pin 7 comma output then once again for the other led pin mode within bracket 8 comma output so we have declared two pins now here we are going to apply the condition if within bracket h greater than 70 or no need or we can go for and because we have to satisfy both of the sections and t greater than 30 digital write within bracket 7 comma high so here we have to connect our red led digital write 8 comma low so our green led will be connected now the same case should be vice versa so we are applying the else condition so for else condition the same thing only we have to change the logics low high so here we can keep the option as or itself here why i have applied the or means the function of or here if one set of condition is enabled like the truth table of or is or logical or section 0 0 it is false sorry it is true false then if it is 0 or 1 means true then if it is 1 or 0 means it is true and if it is 1 1 it is true so according to this truth table only here we are going to work like this any one condition if it is satisfied therefore the output will be executed the same thing if we are going for and operator and operator means this comes for or therefore again 0 0 false 0 1 it will be false 1 0 it will be false 1 1 if the both the conditions are true only we will be able to get the output so this will be the two difference if h or t greater than 70 greater than 30 digital write then bracket 7 comma high but light the logic must be vice versa okay Now hereby I am uploading the code. Now within that we shall connect our requirements. So center pin belongs to ground. Then the red pin belongs to 7. And the green one belongs to 8. So now everything is safe. That's why it is showing it as green. Now hereby let us try to change the value of temperature sensor. So once the humidity has changed therefore the light has been gone to red now let us wait till it get reduced so it started to reduce gradually so it has reached till 85 and the variation is there so once when it reaches automatically below 70 here the red will be turned off and the green will be turned on which indicates in the form of safe so let this uh, gradually decrease let us wait for some more time and within that let us go for the next part
Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.